Alrighty, well I finally got the last Japanese model uh, set I ordered. Uh, it took forever to get here, but it did come out of Japan. And uh, it was actually delivered to the wrong place, but luckily my neighbor uh, dropped it off because he accidentally got it. And I was wondering where it was. Uh, it actually came two days ago and said it was delivered and I couldn't find it. So uh, luckily he dropped it off before I went out to reach out to USPS to say, hey, what the heck happened? Um, this is interesting. I don't know what that is, but it's all crumbly. Is this regular newspaper? I don't know what this could be. I certainly didn't order this many things, so it's not an order slip. Could be a parts list, possibly. Something says 2019 up here. Uh, might want to translate this later. I'm, I'm just curious. I don't know what that could be. But here's what we got. Another Tomix model. Uh, should be a six car set. Something I've also had my eye on for quite some time, and I went ahead and pulled the trigger, even though I probably shouldn't have at the time, because the following week was a 13% off day. <laughs> so I would have gotten another 13% off, um, but no matter, I still think I got a fair price uh, for this one. So let me open it up and undo this bubble wrap. It's well taped. Oh yeah, perfect. There it is, Tomix 98647 is the model number. It's gonna be a JR7000 once we get it finally open. Another layer of plastic here to deal with. Come on. Now I wish I would've done these unboxing videos for all the trains, but I only just recently started doing them. Um, because I like to document what I got uh, versus actually trying to show off or anything. I just like doing it because I can. Um, and I have over 50 models now, so I should have had by now over 50 unboxings, but unfortunately I just recently started doing this uh, with my latest Japanese purchases here. Um, but like I said, it's kind of fun to, to document what you get and your first reactions uh, when you get them. So there it is, good looking box. I like that blue. Ooh, that's that's some high quality. Uh, oh, it's just the underneath. So as I've noticed, all these Tomix sets tend to come in these plastic containers. Because with this first iteration of, or this latest purchasing, uh, I feel like I've gotten a lot of these Tomix models, and it's the first time I've gotten them in like a set form. So all the other ones come in like generic plastic cases, like the little ones that most trains come in. But the, uh, the latest ones have come in these, what I call uh, Hot Wheels plastic sets, because that's what my old Hot Wheels cars were stored in as a kid. All right, countdown for the big reveal. Do, 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 do. Paperwork, everyone's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get rid of the paperwork and see what's underneath, because there it is, a beautiful looking thing. Uh, like I said, I've had my eye on this for quite some time. Never pulled the trigger until today, or when I purchased it anyway. Uh, six car set. I think there's an expansion series maybe um, that you can also get, but I didn't get it. Um, and these do not have lights like my other set does. Ooh, that has some good weight to it. Um, but I do really like this style. I don't have one like it with this front end nose, kind of like that. Um, looks awesome. One of the reasons why I got it. I also thought it'd be more white, but, and I don't know if the video does it justice, but it's actually like a gray color, um, which is interesting, because like I said, I thought it'd be like a white, white, black, and green. Uh, interesting connectors. It's funny how 
a lot of these models or the Japanese sets have like different connectors. Like it's not standardized, but it also looks like it's powered. <laughs> uh, like that E001, Shikashima one, um, which is nice, but unfortunately these don't have lights in them. So, hmm, maybe I should invest in some Tomix lights uh, because these might look pretty awesome with it. So most of the cars look fairly plain. Uh, there's some of them have pantographs. Um, so take it as you will, but, uh, the front and the back is what I got it for. Cause that looks mean and awesome. It's going to look good running around the track there. Let's see if we can get a good thumbnail shot. Something like that. There's the back. Of course, they look the same. Alrighty, let's see if we can get this on the track. And give it the old runaround. Let's slide that over there. I got my rear railer set up. All good. Ooh, back to front, of course. This is interesting. So I guess this is the connector for the tail end. It's like a little, like a little circle. And you just kind of plug it in, I guess. Let's see how these puppies roll. Oh yeah. Of course that was out of focus. Beautiful. Smooth. Okay, I'm gonna scooch over. Okay. So because each of these connectors are gonna be different, as in, uh, you know, one side has the little uh, hook circle thing, and then the other side has the, the hole you squeeze it in, you gotta be careful which way you're setting these on. Otherwise, they won't connect. Oh, look at that. So, nope, it's out of focus. So this little thingy here, I guess when it hooks up, it actually like, it's around on you. So when it's going around the turns, I guess it, it acts like it's actually connected, uh, which is kind of cool. And these little thingies, I think, are going to cause me all kinds of problems. I'm trying to connect them, I bet you. That does not want to snap in. Hmm. This is going to get tricky. <laughs> I can already feel it. I think I gotta like, ah, there we go. You almost gotta like connect them all and then try to slide them on the track together. Cause that was tough uh, without picking it up. So we got two on. It's the next one. Yeah, see every time you try to put it on on the track, it just kind of bends down on you. And, uh, goes out of the way. So you kind of have to, like, pick it up and, like, do it just right. Like that. And I feel like I gotta do them like that to every one. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, this next one is the engine I believe it has the weight and the gears and then pantographs Oop. it's a tiny little guy okay snap crackle and pop and because that's the engine I can't really slide it anymore 
So now I gotta shift gears here. Do do do. On. Yeah, that's probably more harder than it needs to be uh, to connect that stuff up. Uh, what's left in the box is this little bag of goodies. Uh, I'm not going to put them on just yet, but it looks like it comes with a whole bunch of extras. Which at first glance, I don't really see where they go. I don't see any holes or anything. And it doesn't look like anything's missing. I'll have to read the book or something. Figure out what that's about. All right, well, let's try to get these wheels on. It looks pretty good, you know, as is, as expected. Like I said, I didn't expect it to be as gray as it is. But uh, what can you do? I think it still looks neat. They do make another color. Uh, I believe it has a blue stripe. And it might be a different... That one might be all white, actually. Uh, whereas this one? Clearly not. Wheels on, wheels on. Wheels on. Wheels on. Wheels off. Wheels on. Wheels on. Wheels on. Do do do. On. And last car is on and ready to roll. Get that pantograph up. Looks funky. Perfect. All right. Here's the front again. More pantograph. That one doesn't want to go. There it goes. Hmm. All right, we are rocking and rolling here. So there it is, all together now on the track. One more zoomed in pan view. Here's the back. Again, looks just like the front. Um, I'm kind of thinking this would be kind of cool with lights. Of course, I have to run it first. But, uh, you know, a lot of my other ones that I just got have lights in them, so I figured I'd get one without lights. Uh, but of course, you can always put them in later. So, definitely Japanese style. They like to have that front nose like that. pretty cool. I bet you those are the headlights in that circle thing. Whoa, sorry for the shakiness. I'm trying to stabilize. So yeah, let's pop it open. The throttle anyway. See what this guy has. So let me step on over here. Alrighty now. Here goes nothing. Woohoo! So it's got some loud wheel action there, but I can't hear the motor. That's good. Awesome front lights, I can already tell. Really crank it up. It is a bullet train after all. So when you get speed going there, I can tell it really gets loud. Oh, look at that thing go. Ah! I think we had a derail. I heard it. Where is it? 
Look at that. Down for the count. And it's behind my couch, so that's going to be tough to get to. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I went too fast around that bank. Let me uh, get that back on the track here. All right, well, I got it back on. Uh, fun fact, it wasn't the motor that fell off. It was the tail cars behind it that fell. Um, but now I know at least the theoretical limit of what this thing could do around those banks. Uh, it's also got those red lights in the back, which is kind of cool too, I noticed. Here, I'll come out around front. Like I said, it is a bullet train, but I guess you can't go too fast, of course. Oh, hit my paper. Get that out of the way. That looks pretty neat. Although louder than I would have expected. Uh, but mainly it's the... It's the wheels and not the motor, which luckily you don't hear that buzzing humming noise of some motors. Could look better with lights though, I'll give it that. And uh, where am I running it at? So th at that speed it's going this fast, mm, with lights at this speed they might, they might flicker uh, compared to the other Tomix ones. So I don't know, I'll have to debate it if I want to get it and upgrade, but for now it looks pretty good. So I'll end it there, stay tuned for more for a full review.